Hi, I'm Danica Fine. In this final schema registry exercise, you'll see how to evolve the protobuf and avro schemas that you created in previous exercises. First, you'll evolve the protobuf schema using the Confluent Cloud UI by adding a new field, validating the updated schema, and saving the new schema version. Next, you'll see how to evolve the Avro schema using Gradle. Initially, you'll add a new field without a default value and see how the compatibility validation check fails. From there, you'll correctly add a default value for the new field so that the validation check succeeds. And finally, you'll register the new schema version using Gradle and confirm in the Confluent Cloud UI that the registration succeeded. And when you're done, take a moment to feel proud of all that you learned throughout this course and the hard work you put in. I hope you join me again next time for another course.